everybody, Toby here from Rocky Mountain Snow MX. Wanted to do a walkthrough uh, video with you um, on our Rockstar build this year. And as we go through this, my son Ty is helping me video. Uh, he's going to come in real close and really show the items that we're focusing on. Uh, he's also going to try to keep up with us as we do the walk around with the bike. So uh, we're going to start out talking about the bike. This is a 22 and a half uh, Husqvarna FC450 Rockstar. This bike um, is my attempt to give something else uh, a run for its money with the Honda Works Editions that I normally build. And uh, I will have to tell you, uh, after we've gotten uh, almost 40, 45 hours on this bike this year, uh, we're really happy with its performance. Uh, I would say that the new 2023 KTM 450SXs, the Husqvarna uh, FC 450s, are truly giving the Hondas a run for their money. Uh, I would say that this bike builds snow bike power um, along the same ways as a stock Honda CRF 450R. It's still not a works edition power, uh, but it definitely runs with the stock Honda. So, for the first time in a long time, I can tell you, if you're a KTM guy, uh, go with the new 23 uh, or newer KTM 450. It really makes great snow bike power. Um, we'll start out, since we're talking about snow bike power, uh, we're gonna point out that we did do an RP race exhaust. The RP race exhaust on this bike uh, really livens up the ability to get the spent gases out and make the kind of power that we want to make. So I kind of feel that uh, some other people have tried the 2023s with stock exhaust. They don't feel like they're all that great. Um, with the RP race exhaust, still using the stock ECU because we don't really have a great tune available for the 23s yet in aftermarket ECUs. Um, so just intake from C3 and RP race exhaust uh, this has really brought this package to making awesome power. Um, quick rundown as we go forward with the rock arounds, we're really not going to get into all the details of what each piece does and why we use it. We did that on the My Little Pony one. So if you want a reference, if you didn't see My Little Ponies, uh, walk around, go back there. That's a long video explaining why we use each individual piece. But once again, this is our platform of build uh, Trail Tech Voyager Pro. Um, you can see that, yes, we are using zip ties to hold it on to the bike because our C3 uh, mount has failed on this one also. C3 is going to be making a new mount to uh, better bolt on the Trail Tech Voyager Pro to their one-piece top lamps. Uh, this also has the C3 one-piece top lamp with the really awesome C3 Bark Busters. Um, we're using C3 heated bars. You can see our C3 heated bars have the valve mounted right here to be able to turn the heat on or turn the heat off. Also has the fittings that go in uh, so that the heat runs through the bars. These bars are really awesome because the heat comes into the grip side first, heats up the grip, which is somewhat isolated from the bar. So it could use the hotter fluid coming over to the grip then it cycles and goes over to the other grip, heats that side up, and then exits the handlebars. Um, this is our mount here for our, uh, our Garmin Rhino. Uh, we run multiple GPSs and radios and things like that just to have backups. Um, of course, on and off switch on the new KTM. So start is here, stop is here, all on the same switch. So guys that are used to having just two switches, that's not the case anymore. Um, we, a friend of ours named Luke uh, and Matt, they've always had horns on their bikes. We've been really jealous of not having a horn. So all of our new builds get a horn now. There's nothing greater than rolling up on your son named Ty when he's stuck in a tree well and giving him a quick little horn honk and a smile. <laughs> so uh, that's the backside of the cockpit, including the C3 risers. Um, seat Concepts now has come out with their seat for both the KTMs and the Husqvarna's. So 
Uh, we are you finally get to utilize a seat concept seat uh, on this bike. We really like that. Uh, we talked a little bit about our intake. Um, our intake, you can see, we pop this cover off. So our C3 intake is mounted in here, of course. Um, this intake, how we do these and like for them is we cut out the entire air box in the bottom so that the snow can accumulate in this area, get shaken, and exit the vehicle uh, down below through a cut air box. Also in here, you see our plug for our jump box. So this plug right here is wired directly to the battery. Um, it can plug in our jump box to get the bike started on cold early mornings. And then also on this side, you see we use the PST engine jackets, the OB guard, and of course the C3 foot pegs. We really love this setup. Um, this kit is the Timber Sled Aero 3 Pro 2023 um, with belt drive and internally bypass shocks. This kit matches the 450 power so well with the big three inch track. This setup um, is absolutely perfect. So we are running the TSS shock in the kit to give it more uh, big hit soak up. So we really like this package. It's truly the best thing the Timber Sled has ever made. Uh, coupled with this bike is perfect. One thing that you guys have seen from the new uh, Polaris dealer release a couple weeks ago, C3 will have a guard, an aluminum guard that's gonna be made for this belt drive to keep from any hits, breaking the plastic and things like that. So we're looking forward to that coming out. Um, we're gonna move forward this way. We'll talk a little bit about our suspension. These are AER uh, air forks from KTM Husky. We love AERs. We can build AERs extremely well to last in the cold conditions. We actually do a relief valve on the bottom. Uh, we do a custom piston. Uh, we also, of course, go into the hydraulic side and we match the hydraulic valving to the air pressures that you're gonna be running. Uh, this setup really does work quite well. We love the weight savings of AERs. Um, when you build a dedicated snow bike, it's awesome because you don't have to run a trio. You can actually build your forks. AERs are pretty cool because I can build your air side for snow, then I can build your hydraulic side for snow, but also for about 400 bucks, I can supply you with a whole nother cartridge for the hydraulic side that is valved for you and your dirt. And you can literally just drop the one fork, uh, pull the cartridge out, refill it with fluid and put my new cartridge in and you can have a dirt and snow setup. So that works out really well. Uh, you can see that we are running the mountain top, uh, uh, mountain top number plate bag. There we go. Um, and of course, Cyclops light uh, for night riding and things like that. On the front of the radiators, just like all of our builds, uh, we use the bulletproof radiator guards. Bulletproof radiator guards, 100% help out a ton. Um, you can see down here at the bottom that the OV guard fills in the gap in the front of the engine jacket, kind of seals that off. It also gives a very nice smooth bottom for the snow to transition back to the kit. So the OV guard's awesome for this build, along with every other one. On this side, you can see we uh, have done C3 foot pegs. We talked about that. There is a recluse CX clutch that we installed uh, on the motor. Up here, you can see some of the C3 hoses, C3 thermostat, and then of course, RP race exhaust. Um, we don't, we didn't do uh, carbon fiber heat shields on this one because honestly, by the time that all of this is on and the OB guard's on, that exhaust really doesn't stick out a long ways and we haven't had any problems burning our pants. So um, didn't do RPD or didn't do carbon fiber uh, heat shields on these. 
We run the stock tank. We don't like a lot of weight up top on the tank. Uh, we like to carry our weight in the back. Speaking of the back, the um, setup that we're running, we're running a mountain addiction fuel can with the saddle style rails. Um, we have our spare belt for our QDT belt drive. Then also uh, we have our uh, specially designed Rocky Mountain Snow MX brackets to be able to run a Yeti uh, cargo rack and Pelican case on a timber sled. It's really nice because our rack can just go in, pin with two, and I can take it to whatever bike that I'm using. So Ty, if you want to come closer and let's get a picture of these brackets and how we design them. The Yeti rack goes right in here. And then as we pull back and we see the back end, the back end actually has one piece that adapts to the timber sled kit and then has a second piece that bolts to it. And it is completely adjustable forward and back to make up for different links and racks and adjustability. That way uh, you can really make everything fit. Um, kit wise, Ty, if you wanna go around to that side, we'll talk a little bit uh, about the timber sled kit from that angle. Um, the timber sled kit that we're running, of course, is an Aero Gen 2 uh, three inch. This big three inch track just grabs the snow, really does an awesome job in those, you know, deep days. And then also when you come to springtime and you're in that mashed potato kind of snow, the three inch track works super well. These, are, of course, are the internally bypassed uh, shocks that are available on pros with the full uh, three-way clickers on them to quickly adjust the valving in them. Uh, this kit has been solid all season. Uh, belt drive has been awesome. Uh, we've really put some hours on things and it's worked well. Um, Ty, come, come forward around here and let's show them where the TSS is sitting. So you can see that the TSS is up in there and you've got your uh, air fitting side on this side and then of course the adjuster on the other side to be able to adjust it. Other things that we did on this bike of course are uh, a EarthX lithium ion 4 battery uh, underneath the seat here. If you're looking for a system and a bike that matches perfectly, we love this setup, the Aero 3 Gen 2 3 inch with very strong 450 power uh, has turned out an incredible machine this year. We like this setup a lot. Um, we did run this same track on our two stroke weren't really happy with this track on the two-stroke because it took a lot of the fun playfulness out of the two-stroke. Um, it, it made our 300 climb and hang with 450s all day long, but it wasn't 300 kind of power. That's why I say that this big three-inch track works really well with the 450 power. Also works really well with 501 or 500 power too. So uh, this is a great coupling with either one of those two bikes. So um, if you got some questions, please give us a call. This is our rundown of our 2023 KTM Husky uh, builds. Also, uh, when Gas Gas turns into the new motor, this will be probably, I think Gas Gas is getting this new motor in 2024. So this would be your 2024 Gas Gas build too. So give us a call. We can help you out with all of these great items for your snow bike build. Uh, we can give you all the technical advice that you could possibly need uh, in helping you build up what you want to run for next year. Toby Till with Rocky Mountain Snow MX. Thank you very much.